we're going to touch on this a little bit. I know there's so many things we could cover and this could be a whole different episode, but let's talk about the grad experience in athletic training at University of Hawaii. And we only can speak for our program, but for those of you that don't know, the athletic training curriculum, yes, it involves classroom work, but it's also tons of clinical hours. And we put in, you know, at all of our rotations and all of our sites, I mean, for me, that was more than a full-time job trying to just get all <laughs> the experience that you need as a student. So let's talk about that. What were some of the first impressions of the program when you got into UH? And you were probably oh. more aware of, you know, some of the things that were going on on like at why not high school and at the high school um then i was familiar with i primarily was just volunteering at uh so that was the only thing that i that i knew back then but what were your your thoughts when you first got in there and or how our first year went oh man it was it was so much fun i just loved all of you guys so much i was like look at all of these kids Look at all of these kids. I just felt like everybody's mom from the first day when we walked in there. I was like, come on, come on, you guys, let's go. Let's go do something. So what I think, and the thing that I want to speak for is, especially with our class, things always change through programs. Program directors change, professors change, clinic sites changes, everything changes. But I think because we all um, did such a good job of supporting each other, taking care of each other, being there because everything else we were going through was difficult enough. Those million clinical hours. And when I say million, I swear it was a million (laughs) (laughs) million clinical hours and the tests and the hours of studying and how many times you guys had to use me as an anatomy model because it was the only bone you could actually palpate in the (laughs) class. Like we had each other's backs. And I think that was a really, really important part of our program. And it's what kind of has made a lot of us kind of stand out and be a little bit Uh, more, I guess, I don't know what the word would be. Just like a really good group of people. We have a really good group of people. I wouldn't have traded any of you guys for anything. It was awesome. And the things I think that were super important for us to learn weren't the things that we were learning in our textbooks. I will always stand by that. I, yeah, we can memorize from head to toe. And I know like when we're sitting for our test, like we, you just want to know everything and you want to have the right answer and you want to remember everything. But at the same time, looking back now, I'm like, oh, all of that stuff didn't even matter. Honestly, I, I feel like all of that stuff didn't even matter. What mattered was how we grew together, the things that we went through and that all of us are doing a fantastic job and being very successful now. So that's what I... That's what sticks with me the most when I think back about our time at UH. Yeah, there were definitely a lot of oh fun, yeah, fun and times. me being nine months pregnant and <laughs> literally saying a prayer every day that I don't go into labor and my water doesn't break in front of everybody. Yes, our second year. <sighs> yes, yeah. so it, there's so many memories and so many good experiences, and I will say I think all of us felt the same way. Was that well? Okay, to give some perspective, so Liz, I believe you're one or two years older than me. And then Jay, who was also on this podcast, no, I think you're about there. And then Jay, who was also on this podcast, is a few years older than us. Yep. So then we had a lot of like, it was a unique blend of other experiences outside of athletic training and also what we needed to learn in athletic training. But I do remember that you were kind of that motherly figure for all of us because you had kids of your own and you also had different perspectives of handling and working with student athletes. So that was something that I looked to you for that experience because it really did help the whole class, you know, to kind of bond together, but we did have a special group. Yeah, for sure. Tons of studying, tons of hours. I mean, there were hard times, funny times, everything, but overall it was a great experience. What do you think from our grad program, what do you think has helped you to develop into the athletic trainer that you are today? Oh man. Wow. That's a huge loaded question. Perspective, perspective. Every single one of us came from this crazy different background, different families, being raised different, different experiences, different circumstances, different stresses. I mean, all of us came from something different. 
when we came together as a group and not even just as our class, even in our, our mm -hmm. clinicals, if we're working with the other, the athletic trainers, mm -hmm. I mean, our, our professors, everybody, when we come together and we find like that, um, that balance and something you can take a strength from this person, like how you said you, something you drew from me, something I drew from you is Liz, stop being silly every day and pay attention. You need to know what's in this book. Because I would be laughing at something, I'd look over at you, and you're like, "I know you're not absorbing this. I know you're not even paying attention right now, right?" So a little bit of good, and you know, a little bit of learning something from everybody has really, really shaped me as the athletic trainer that I am now. Because I take everything with just a literally a huge grain of salt now. Like take everything with a huge grain of salt. There's pretty much nothing I haven't seen. There's no, you know, situation that we didn't have to work through that I, or overcome challenges, things like that, that now, you know, I'm like, oh, man, I remember that one time or, oh, yeah, this happened before. And it's, you know, it kind of gives me a sense of um, a sense of strength, like my experience makes me feel stronger. It makes me feel like a stronger, more confident athletic trainer stronger, confident woman, stronger, confident mother, because I know I can mother all of you guys and still take care of everything that needs to get taken care of. Right. Yes. So it's, um, I think it's perspective. Definitely. No, definitely. And I, I think even on that topic, just perspective, because how you viewed things is probably different than what I view things. And, you know, like, I don't remember <laughs> it exactly like that, but it is funny to hear from you. The one thing that I will say, you know, every, every colleague and every friend and every relationship is a little different. But the one thing with us is that I can tell you something just straight up upfront and <laughs> you can do the same to me. And I think that's what really helped us when we got yeah. through certain situations. And even yeah. to this day, we may not talk, you know, super frequently, but every time we talk, it's just like, it's just like we'll when pick we're up in, right back where we left right. off. Yeah. yeah. Well, and it, I'm glad you said that about saying, um, saying anything. Because I think that was something that we, it was good for um, all of us when we were in school too, is that we had a lot of strong personalities. We had a lot of strong, independent, intelligent people. And it can be always, sometimes it can be hard to blend that in a harmonious way. Mm -hmm. It can. But now, I mean, you know, that's something that we learned from, we grew from. We each have our own little bucket of each other's tools and traits that we take and we fill up our bucket, right? So that mm -hmm. to help shape who we are now as athletic trainers, I wouldn't change any of it. And I'm so uh, people, sometimes people are like, Oh, don't, or, you know, you want to go back to school, maybe get a PhD or, you know, whatever. And I'm like, Oh, no way. I, <laughs> no way. Yeah. A absolutely not. No way. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. I feel very content with everything that, so far that I have in my bucket and am appreciative of how everything that I've gone through from growing up in a ranch to going through a master's program with all of you guys, becoming a certified athletic trainer, being an athletic trainer at Wena high school for seven years now. I mean, my bucket is loaded. I have got some powerful tools and you know, I get a lot of them from you. I watch your stuff all the time, all of your posts. And I'm like, wow, look at this guy motivates me to keep myself fresh, to be aware. Even, I mean, when we went to Vegas, you took me to the best places to eat. And how many times I've been to Vegas and how much places I gone. But the last time I went with you now, I cannot wait to go back to all the places we went to eat. I cannot wait. I know. Yeah. A lot of it was by chance though, but even that kind of thing, catching up at convention, um, yeah. it's always fun to just catch up. And same thing with all of you guys, every time we talk, you know, it's, we all learn and come together again. And I think that's the fun part.